You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities, and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, what is going on? And welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio. It is prime time, baby. And there's over 28,000 of you guys on our phone lines, in our chat room, uh, using Skype or Google Hangouts or the browser, all the plugins that I use to run these live episodes. Um, you guys are filling them up, and I, for one, appreciate that greatly. Uh, we have a very special guest, so you definitely want to stick around for that. And guys, unfortunately, I'm still um, a little bit under the weather, so excuse my voice. I know I sound all um, nasally, or <laughs> I guess that's what they call it, right? Stuffed up in the face. Okay, so, but listen, you make it so. A few things can hold you back without your cooperation. The challenges that you face are challenges only to the extent that they find um, renaissance in your own spirit. Though we despair our troubles, we embrace them too. For without our embrace, they would have no hold on us. Yet that which we empower, we also banish or divert. And in doing so, we turn troubles into triumphs. Success is success because you guys make it so. Success is found not in what comes to you, but in what you do with it. What a joyful and powerful freedom it is to be free of your own chosen limitations. You are more than your body, more than your bank account, more than your job. Such things are yours to use wisely and will hold you back only if you let them. Choose to be free. Choose to make a difference. Choose to achieve. Choose to succeed. Take that from me, Dina Mussolini. That is my word, and word is mine. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, hello and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music or Inside the Book. Inside the business where we dive into the minds of the people who create marvelous things. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. One time, one time for my people who are indigos, crystalline, or star seeds, or for my vigilantes audience family. And two times for my people who are vegetarian or vegans. If you're like me, we are averaging over 37,000 live listeners and we've been at this for four solid years. I appreciate all you guys who've been rocking with the kids on this journey and we are still evolving baby it is all because of you most definitely we are the people who have dedicated their lives to music spirituality business literature art movies and research in every aspect and we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story man we've had celebrities on our show from grammy award winning artists to nominees to actors comedians ceos technology geniuses visual artists from art Authors to professors and aliens or people who think they're aliens it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from come on our show and talk to me so check it out to book your interview or just to share a real cool story email me at the radio at only one media group.com and that's v as in victor i'm passionate about what i do just as passionate about what you do and together Yes, together, we can get your voice heard by the people who should hear it. So let's create something incredible. You know the number to dial. 701-801-9813. 
Text that number to your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests. Or you can hop in the mix directly from my website, onlyonemediagroup.com. Right from the homepage, you can slap that go live button and you'll be right here live in the mix and in the chat room with all of us. Feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here, but only as time permits. Sometimes my guests and I talk entirely too much and we take up the entire hour. And as always, all episodes are available for free download and you can grab that from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes youtube or any app from the google play or itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we ever aired all right guys today's interview is the alfonso uh, lugo interview and again i'm your host denny Mussolini. um this just has to be an awesome journey right well, believe me, we'll get him to say so himself even better than I could. I hope you guys enjoy this just as much as I will. So let's take a second and two and welcome Alfonso to our show. Hey, man, you're now live in the midst with all of us. How is it going? Hello. How are you? Hello, guys. Buddy. I'm doing great. Yeah. Thanks for asking. How are you? I'm fantastic. Uh, super excited about to release this new single. So... You can imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, given that, man, are you feeling any pressure like to uh, reach some um, some type of um, uh, listenership? Say, say again. I cannot hear you very well. So, say again. Yeah, I, 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 um, are you feeling any pressure uh, once, uh, I mean, in, in like listenership, um, you know, gaining the momentum of, you know, you know, you know the whole campaign of how you roll out a single are you feeling that kind of pressure to succeed? Well, uh, it always it always comes with a some sort of like you know I did I put a lot of effort in this, so I want mm-hmm. a lot of people to listen to it. I would say it's a it's a you know mixed feelings. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know I don't have a straight answer, but like I guess I guess it's a yes. Yeah, <laughs> most definitely. Okay, cool deal. Yeah. So, um, where are your views on Los Angeles being the right location for Alfonso? I know you've been here for a minute, um, but do you see your sights anywhere else? Well, um, no. No, to be honest, I'm in love with Los Angeles. Um, that's the right spot for me to work as a producer, as an artist as well. Uh, my project as an artist is in Spanish, but uh, I work with other other artists um, in different languages. To be honest with you, it's not only English, but like it's uh, it's fantastic. It's the right place to be, and uh, it's been a it's been a fantastic journey for me. Yeah, and as I understand, you kind of made a transition from um, where were you previously before you went to Los Angeles. Well, I developed my career in Mexico City, but I was living mm-hmm. in Brazil as well for a little bit, and oh, I wow. lived in Europe. I lived in Europe for a little bit too, and I lived in Texas. Why Texas? Don't ask me. But uh, <laughs> I lived in <laughs> Dallas for for a bit. <laughs> wow, it's pretty eventful, man. So you, you love to travel, huh? Music and traveling. Yeah. I, I, I love traveling. Uh, I spent most of the time in Mexico City, to be honest with you. It was more almost 15 years. So, so yeah. So during the time in Mexico City, were you kind of developing your craft, or uh, was your, uh, were you professional at that point as well? Yes. Um, uh, besides uh, an artist, a singer, songwriter, I am a voiceover talent as well in Spanish. I'm the, I'm the voice of some uh, important brands in Mexico and the United States as well. So when I was living in Mexico City, um, I became the voice of one of the most important banks there. I'm the voice of one of the luxury cars. And, you know, like all that um, helped me out a lot because I'm an audio guy, you know, spending a lot of time mm-hmm. in the studio helped me out uh, to develop the voiceover career um, with the music production career with the songwriting career and I was doing music for TV commercials uh, video games movies and now that I moved to the States I'm fully committed to my singer songwriter career so that's exactly why 
we're launching this new single. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> so websites, yeah. man. Um, you've been in the business for a while um, and, and, and have seen the landscape change. How did you adapt to the internet being such a huge part of the industry now? Wow, I mean, it's everything, you know, like, um, we live, I, 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 I like to call it, we live in the, in the world of the next, you know, because everything is next, next, next. <laughs> so the mm -hmm. internet is, is, is that world. And, um, and you face that challenge first, how we make people to stay and don't do the next. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing. <laughs> Most definitely. Right. Okay. Yeah. And, and what are some of your uh, your favorite ways for your listeners and new fans to connect with you on the web? Uh, I would say the streaming platforms, pretty much. And um, right now we are uh, trying for the first time uh, in more like traditional media. Like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but, um, but in the past, uh, what connected me the most with my fans was that I, I could play uh, a song in a movie, in one of the most successful movies in Mexico. So that gave me a lot of exposure. But, um, but yeah, everything is through the streaming platforms, to be honest with you. Like, most that's, of, that's yeah. the world I know, yeah, for sure. All right. And with that as a factor, um, what's your opinion on being as transparent as possible nowadays a, as an artist? Well, you have to. You have to because uh, you cannot hide uh, who you are. Um, you know, like, if, if you are true to yourself, like, you mm -hmm. can transmit that energy to your audience. And uh, actually, that's the foundation of my voiceover career, too. Uh, because uh, right, I have right. to... I have to I have to uh, talk talk with the truth, so mm -hmm. so that 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 I tra I translate that into my music as well. So I have to be honest with uh, with like to myself. I have to be honest with uh, all the people that is listening. So that's super super important to me. You know, this is who I am, and this is what I want to say, and this is this is what we want to create together, pretty much. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, you're slated to release an EP uh, by the end of this year. Um, how's that going? Well, yeah, pretty good, actually. Um, you know, like now we live in the, in the world of the singles. And, mm -hmm. um, and, but once you have enough singles and those singles are doing pretty good, you release an, an EP. So that EP is coming at the end of the year for sure, 100%. And uh, we, but before that, we're gonna we're gonna launch uh, three more singles, and I'm super excited. Actually, the yeah. first one is coming on the 29th, which is the day after tomorrow. I'm excited, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. How yeah. are you going to celebrate the release? Uh, are you previewing it for a venue or hosting a Actually, live web show? Let me let me tell you something very interesting. Uh, I am okay. in Miami right now. I, uh, awesome. I flew to Miami, and uh, I live in Los Angeles, but uh, I'm in Miami right now because uh, we're going to do national TV on Thursday, so oh, wow. that is super exciting, it's exciting, you know, like, uh, yeah. and I'm doing a live show as well, and, uh, and that's exactly why I'm here, you know, like, Miami is one of the hot spots for Spanish music, yeah, so, definitely. you know. But that, but right away after this, I'm coming back to LA and I'm gonna start start doing a lot of things there. It's my hometown, so you know, like that's that's gonna happen super super soon. Yeah, yeah, man, I can imagine the excitement. So back to the EP, man. Um, what kind of stories will, we, will be will we be getting uh, or, or listening to from the EP? Okay, perfect. Um, I love to write to this um, beautiful thing called love. <laughs> so mm -hmm. all my yes, songs yes. Are, 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 are pretty much based on uh, beautiful women, you know, and all this um, seduction art. Like, I love to... My, my lyrics are, like, sensual and, you know, all this flirting situation. But I, I treat all the, all the, you know, the lyrics with uh, very much respect. For me, it's very important that 
that women feel um, adored. You know what I'm saying? So that's 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 the foundation of my writing, and uh, and yeah, it's it's happy music. I would call it like happy music because back in the days I used to write like sad love songs too. Uh, but one yeah. day I changed my mind and said like, you know what? There's a lot of sadness in the world. Enough of that. Let's just go for the beautiful things. And and I started writing like happy music. So my music is happy, up like uplift, upbeat, uplifting, uh, love, and you know like adoring women situation kind of thing. So I don't know if I explain myself. It's kind of yeah, it's yeah. kind of hard like to think about my lyrics in Spanish and try to translate to English. So <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. So let's go back to a younger Alfonso. Um, truthfully, how in depth did your thoughts on how to go about your music career become before you decided to become an artist, or did you become an artist first and discuss the details later? Well, I've been writing songs since forever, but um, I, it's definitely like a, 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 like a before and after when I moved to Los Angeles because um, I had very good mentors and. Uh, I took a lot of songwriting, uh, songwriting uh, workshops and songwriting camps, and I learned a lot. Like Los Angeles um, has a lot of um, like professionals, and they mm -hmm. they help you, they guide guide you through all this beautiful process of songwriting. So my perspective changed a lot. So let's say the old Alfonso used to write more like rock. The word would be like mm -hmm. more like you know without without putting any any of the thinking like you know what I'm saying because the, I would say like songwriting sometimes could be like a little I don't want to say a science per se but there's there's a lot of beautiful things happening in the back of our head when we listen to a, a, a good song you know what I'm saying so once you mm -hmm. learn that a little bit. You can incorporate that to your writing, and then I would say you close, you finally close the circle. That's what I would say. So the old Alfonso was more like, more like, okay, this is me and this is my heart. And the new Alfonso is, yes, yeah, this is my heart too, but let's just create something beautiful together, you know, you as an audience and me as a songwriter. Something like that. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So your single Loca, um, and we'll play that later tonight. Um, but let's build some anticipation here, or basically satisfy my curiosity. What was the key in making this new single sound cohesive and flow um, in accordance to your previous work as well? Uh, I, I would say Loca, it's my graduation. You know, I mm. have nine singles out. I have nine singles mm -hmm. out, and they, they, I love all, all of them, you know, it's like every, every little song I wrote is like my little baby, and I don't right. want to love one more than another, but let's say that mm -hmm. Loca finally, um, it's the, the uh, it has everything I wanted to say, you know what I'm saying, nothing is missing there, plus it has yeah. all the learning from the other singles. So I'm super excited because I wanted an international sound. That's the most important yeah. part, and we accomplished that. I wanted a very pristine and like nice uh, sound as well. Like the technical part needed to be there, and we accomplished that. And uh, and and the most important part, I wanted something that could be uh, 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 you know like n no barriers with the language like no mm -hmm. language barriers I wanted something like that so I think I think this loca thing somehow every language could understand from the Spanish you know it's like oh loco loca you know it's, it's a word that that you somehow you heard in the movies or something and yeah it means crazy the translation is crazy but in my in my context it's not that like lunatic crazy it's more like oh let's fall in love crazy you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's the whole thing. So I wanted this international thing. So it's a good moment for the Spanish, uh, the Spanish uh, music right now. Like it's very well, um, you know, embraced by different cultures, like you know, Americans and you know, like uh, Europeans. So it's it's a good time for me to release this song 
in Spanish. That's, uh, that's what loca. So it's my graduation. I hope you guys like it. Uh, you, have the, you guys have the last word. So everything I'm saying, it wouldn't make sense if you guys don't feel it once you listen to it. Most definitely. All right. So what about um, from a tech, technical view, um, layout, transitions, uh, the, you know, within the music, within the song Loca, um, was all that discussed between you, the producer and an engineer, or was that all of your work? Oh, let me tell you something. Yeah, it was a co-production with Mario Marchetti. Uh, he's a very recognized cool. producer here, here in the, in yeah. the States. Uh, he worked with Demi Lovato. He worked with uh, Jennifer Lopez, Jojo, Nick Carter. But it's a co-production. Like, we both uh, build the song. And from the technical standpoint of view, um, I am the one that mixed it. So, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 like, he's my mentor, to be honest. Like, mm-hmm. Mario... Mario and I have a very good uh, friendship, and uh, but but my biggest accomplishment from the technical part uh, was when he came to my studio and he spent like four hours with me, like in the studio listening to songs, and he said to me, "Hey, brother, I need to tell you something. I really, really love the way you mix Loca." And and for me, mm. I was like, what? My mentor is saying that. <laughs> so. <laughs> So that was like that was a great a great accomplishment as a sound engineer and uh, and yeah like the technical part is there and I'm super super happy with the result. Hope hope you guys enjoy you know like this this um, process. I mastered with a, a, another good very good friend of mine. Uh, her name is Jed Galindo and she works for the Baker Mastering and um, I enjoy always going there to do the mastering with her because uh, she takes the time, love and passion to do it with you which is very wow. important for me like we got yeah. we audio guys we really love the process and um, and that was like the, the, the cherry on the top if you if you want to call it that way <laughs> most definitely <laughs> alright mm-hmm. so at the point of where you are in life now, in contrast to where you were when you first discovered your true passion, um, what do you know now that you wish you had known back then in dealing or getting into the music industry from the professional side? I would say how to let go of things, like not to get attached to the result, because I'm very, mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm a Virgo, so I need every, everything to be perfect. And, you know, <laughs> so uh, yeah. uh, part, part, part of, the, of this this thing is just to enjoy the journey and not like to get attached to the you know to the process so that's that's what I would uh, like certainly say to you right now it's like yes in the past I was very attached to the process and the result and blah blah blah, blah. and that right now it's like you know what I love what I do this is this is my real passion this is my truth so just let's create something and put it out there you know, like the universe mm-hmm. is going to be in charge of everything else. So that's what I would tell myself in the past. All future. right. Definitely. All right, guys. That's a great oh, question. I, thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, no problem. <laughs> and did I pronounce your uh, last name correct? Lugo? Yeah, Lugo. L-U-G-O. That's correct. All right. Cool deal. Well, guys, are you ready for some music? Because I am. Uh, we have Alfonso Lugo with his song, Loca. We'll be right back. ¿Qué es lo que me está pasando? Estúpidamente estoy más que atrapado, amor. Ya me estoy enamorando. Esto es más que atracción. Tienes mi corazón Te siento vibra sin parar Mi pulso se empieza a acelerar Dime qué sientes, dímelo, baby Tú tienes eso especial Que el mundo gire sin importar Quiero sentirte, siéntelo, baby Déjame llevarte siempre solos por el mundo Tenerte, verte y explorar, no solo es por el mundo Darte todo lo que quieras, un amor profundo Llegar a amarte en todas partes, sin cada 
segundo episode uh there's also a link to a new video he released so check those out email us let us know your thoughts about what you did here and of course in the playback you the playback you will actually hear the full track so like i said no worries there and all the links to his social media as well will be in the link to this uh of this episode so be right there for you guys um i want you guys to shape the future every disappointment you've ever had is now behind you the road is ahead of ahead of you and uh yours to define yours to shape yours to make it to whatever you want it to be stretching out from this moment is an infinite array of possibilities if you're not satisfied with the way things have been going up to this point there are plenty of other options available to you if you're disappointed with your progress that's very useful because it signals the need for a change Ah, and uh, change isn't so bad. Um, <laughs> refuse to let your past overwhelm your future. Every day is a bright new opportunity. The need to continue with your past mistakes exists only in your imagination. In reality, you have just as much potential for, uh, for success as the most successful person that you know, and you have the benefit of your own unique perspective. Right now, as this moment happens, a new you is coming to life. This new you is positive by choice. Disciplined, passionate, focused, and capable of achieving anything which can be imagined. The old you has vanished into memory along with the rest of the past. The new you can take you anywhere you want to go. Right now, the future is yours to shape. Do it with care. Do it with joy, do it with passion, and it will be great. Take that from me, Daniel Salini. That is my word, and word is bomb. But for right now, let's bring back the man of the moment. Alfonso, you're back live with us. Um, Thank you again, so much. apologies. Man. Yes, I'm not no sure problem. what happened with the record, but we'll fix that. Yes, no problem. <laughs> Most definitely. You were the same spot, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, same spot. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> In closing, um, tell us something about the singles. Like, 
like my my curiosity is just bubbling here like how soon can we expect the new one and will they happen every month until the ep is released or is it just going to be random releases and we just have to pay attention to your social media to find out i appreciate that yes i'm releasing a single like every month or month and a half just because we live in the next world <laughs> so uh, but at the end mm -hmm. of the day, um, at the end of the day, uh, all these singles can live forever on the web. Well, I mean forever, you know, quote unquote. But my point is like it's super, super uh, exciting to be releasing like new music every month. And uh, yeah, I have a line like probably six or seven singles after this one. And by the end of this year, I'm gonna put the EP together. And um, yeah, if you go to my social media. Alfonso Lugo at Alfonso Lugo in uh, Instagram and in Twitter or I have a Facebook uh, artist page as well um, you're gonna you're gonna hear a little bit of everything else too what's going on and um, it, you know like the spirit of my music it's all the same um, despite the fact that we're super excited about Loka and it's my graduation I love the other babies as well and hope you guys like it like them most definitely <laughs> and final question, Alfonso. What advice can you give those new artists out there who are interested in pursuing the path that you chose? Well, I only have one thing to say. It doesn't matter how hard it gets. It's just, if it's your true passion, it's just one thing. Never mm -hmm. quit. <laughs> Don't quit, Most never guys. quit. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Like, uh, yeah, just until something big happens. But every every little milestone, you know, what I'm saying? every every step gets you somewhere. So uh, at yeah. the end of the day, for example, it's it's super like exciting for me to know that I have a fan page. Like I have I have a fan club in in Argentina, for example. I never in oh, my wow. life thought about that. And uh, and even though it's, it's a small group. They are hardcore fans, and they they give me the energy to just you know keep going because sometimes it's like oh I don't know how many people are listening to my songs. Of course, you have the stats, you know, like you have right, Spotify yeah. for artists and stuff. But at the end of the day, you don't have like a you know a good retro, a good like feedback from them, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, and with this fan club. I definitely do. Like, I have direct contact with them, and they can text me directly. And uh, it's like they are a good ter thermometer, and uh, it's it's amazing to know their reaction. You know, sometimes they they smile and they just uh, you know like give me the energy I need to keep going. So everyone out there awesome. creating tunes, creating music, just do it with passion. Most definitely. That is so awesome. Well, Alfonso, mm -hmm. thank you so much for being our guest today. It was a complete honor of mine to have you on our show tonight and to uh, learn about your journey and uh, what you got going on for the future. The honor is mine. Thank you so much for having me, and uh, it's been a pleasure. And thank you. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart this opportunity to be like presenting myself to you guys today and especially you and I know you are going through this uh, situation and I hope you get better soon <laughs> with your thank voice thank you so much yeah <laughs> I of hate course. it man, but thank, thank you so much <laughs> of course man thank you I appreciate it no doubt enjoy your night thank you you too thank you guys Good night. thank you my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, any app that's on a Google Play or iTunes store or our website. And that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play, email it to the radio at only one media group dot com. If it's music, please label it by artist and title. Here's my disclaimer. We are genre free. We do not judge and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay, but facts alone. And actually, you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show. 
So deal with it. <laughs> nah, just kidding. On behalf of myself, Danny Mussolini, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in, either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night. And now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer The Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a 7th Sign Regime Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate Exclusive.